Okay, so here's the uncut interview of my friend Steven who extortionist tried to get $30,000 from him by using an artificial intelligence impersonation of his own daughter's voice at the beginning of a call saying, we've got your daughter and we need money before we release her. Here's the interview. All right, so I saw your post and I saw the story and I thought, okay, well, this is just, you know, I've heard of this story before where scammers call and they say, I've got your child or I've got something of value and you need to send me money, et cetera. But then I saw the comment of a reply that you made that said the scammers actually used an artificial intelligence version of your child's voice in the beginning of the call, which is something that I definitely thought was coming and I tried to warn people about, but now it's actually happening. And I wanted to have you share the story from your perspective and tell us what happened. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Um, I'll start by just saying it was probably the most horrific, about roughly 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes of both my wife and my life, right? Um, imagine your worst nightmare getting that phone call at someone has your kid. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is how it went down. And of course, at the time, I didn't know it was a scam. Um, roughly 6.30 in the evening, I get a phone call on my cell phone. Uh, it's not a number I recognize, but we had enough things going on that I knew I needed to answer it because it could have been some, some other things. Um, I answer it, and the very first thing that comes across is a uh, a teenager, a female teenager's voice, kind of in hysterics, saying, "Dad, I've wrecked the car." Okay, now this was a shaky voice, but the intonation. The, even the hysteria part mimicked my youngest daughter who had recently turned 16, mimicked her voice perfectly. So much so no one ever said, you know, it, she never said her name. I have two daughters, have one that's 18, could have been my 18 year old. My mind immediately knew that it was my 16 year old. Right. Immediately I said, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Are you safe? Are you, are you okay? Are you hurt? Those kind of questions. And then just heard kind of like hyperventilating, crying type sounds. And then a male's voice comes on the line. And the gentleman said, it should not really a gentleman, but the man said, um, uh, I'm with your daughter. She's had a wreck. She doesn't have her phone or her license with her. I need you to confirm that that's your daughter or ask me to confirm my name. I can't remember in the time because it's very stressful. Uh, I said, I, yeah, I, you know, I, that's my daughter, right? Because I, I thought it was my daughter. And the tone, and of course, she just turned 16. So of course, it's very possible she had just had a wreck. Um, next thing he says, well, okay, sir, um, are you sitting down? And that kind of struck me odd. That was like just something that, okay, why are they trying to put fear into me? Right. right. That, that, that was my first thought. Uh, I collected myself pretty quick and I said, well, yes, I'm sitting down. I just want to know if my daughter has been hurt. Is she, are you with her right now? He's like, yeah, I'm with her. I think, is she hurt? He says, well, sir, she's been in a wreck. She wrecked her car on our property and caused $30,000 of damage. Mm -hmm. said i'm with a criminal unit and i've got your daughter now this is all kind of coming into my head and i'm trying to understand what he's really saying there when i first heard criminal unit my first thought was wait is he with a crime unit of the police what does he mean on the property what right. about thirty thousand dollars i mean this is just not expected and so you're trying to parse together what they just said and i said hold on a second are are you a criminal unit? like part of a crime unit for the police he's like no sir i'm with a criminal unit and i have your daughter wow side story something you need to know okay. uh, recently uh, my oldest daughter had seen a job ad on a you know well-known job site um for you know uh to be a, a a teacher at a little gym Right to help toddlers and youngsters learn how to tumble and whatnot. She's uh, she's not a gymnast, but she's very good at that. Very good with kids, and she had been texting back and forth with the owner, 
And the owner had asked if they if she could come in at seven o'clock that night. And my oldest daughter said, hey, my, young, my youngest sister is an accomplished gymnast, uh, cheerleader. Could, are you interested in her too? And the person texted back, it's great, both come, right? So fast forward back into this call. My immediate thought and my wife's immediate thought was, oh crap, both of our kids are on the way to this place at that very time. And this might not have been a real ad. They might've been trying to lure teenage girls to a location to get them. Wow. So that's going on in the back of my mind as well. Yeah, all these possibilities are coming out. Sure, sure. Um, so while I'm trying to get straight with them, I'm like, okay, look, um, I'll, we'll figure out the money. But I need to know this is my kid. I need to talk to her. I need her to calm down. I need to be able to talk to her. Can you put her on the phone? Well, at this point, he's, you know, I can look back now and know he's playing sounds of a kid kind of crying, being scared. Right. Um, he plays another audio clip that maybe I could make out as the word daddy. I'm not sure. Um, but again, it's in hysterics. I'm like, you've got to calm her down. I have to know. I have to be able to talk to her to know if this, you know, that she's okay. Right. Now, because you're putting on your security hat, right? Because what we haven't told people right now is that you're a security specialist in IT. Yeah, I, I've spent years and years and years in cybersecurity. So I'm used to maybe picking up scams. But look, this this voice, this was spot on, like right. dead spot on of, of my daughter. So I asked, I said, look, I, I've got to talk to her. And, you know, Sean, you made a great point in our conversation before this. Um, how important it is to have a code word or a password with your kids so that they know when um, that if they tell you that word, you know, something's real. Right. I had been wanting to get her to be calm enough to ask her to tell me what the, the code word was. Right. So I know whether or not this is real or not, but I couldn't even get whoever this was in my mind. Right. My daughter could very well be there and I couldn't get them to calm down and get to that point of giving a code word right? Which we have, but um, so I had to keep going about him. I said, look, you, you've got to, like, I need to talk to my daughter. He's like, well, she's on speakerphone, but I don't want her to be loud because I don't want to attract the police. You need to figure out how to give me $30,000. Well, during this time, I am immediately on my phone. We have on all family members' phones. I'm immediately looking up. I'm immediately seeing, well, both my kids who I knew were driving separately to this location, their last known location was the location of this little gym where they were applying for a job. So at least I knew they got there. Now the risk is they were lured there, but now at least I have their track. I can see where they've gone, at least up to there. So that's good. Here's the problem. My wife's hearing this. I've got another phone on my side. We're calling both those phone numbers. They're both their cell phones. They're not picking up. We're calling the little gym. They're not picking up because they had classes. But at the time, we didn't know. No one's picking up. My right. wife's talking. She knows something's wrong. She's calling 911 on the other line. She's talking to 911. I'm trying to keep this guy on the phone. I'm trying to understand what's really going on. Um, part of me thinks this might be a scam. But in that moment and with that voice, and I had not heard of what AI was doing recently on this uh, about mimicking voices. So I've got to play this out. This is my right. kid. I can't yeah, take yeah. a risk of it. Just, you know. Right. So of course. I'm, I'm trying to keep him on the phone while my wife's talking to 911. And it keeps going back. It's like, you've got to figure out how to get me the money. I've got your daughter. You know, I've got her in the back of my car. We got to figure this out. I'm assuring him, hey, the money's not the issue. I've got to make sure my daughter's okay. And then he just, he says one last statement. You've got to figure out how to get me the $30,000. And he hangs up. Okay. So at this point, I'm looking at my phone going, oh, crap, right? Um, I take over the phone for my wife talking to 911 so I can give 911 all the rest of the details. My wife's running next door, sending our neighbor out to go get, to head toward the little gym, which is in the next city, and try to see if our kids are okay. We're calling them profusely, you know, constantly. The police are calling them constantly. Like the, the line of numbers that in their inbox of numbers that were calling them, it was massive in, in that short period of time. My neighbor reaches the little gym before the neighboring cities police do. The police came to my house from our city, uh, from our county. They got here relatively quick. Uh, but my neighbor gets there, has eyes on them. They're actually helping little kids stumble. 
right? Fantastic. He calls, he says, I have eyes on them. They're safe. They're fine. They're in here doing their, fortunately, like the worst time in the world that you want your kids to do the right thing, they left their cell phones in their cars because this was effectively an interview. Great. I'm very proud of my kids for leaving the, the cell phones in their cars, but man, I wish they had had them at the time. It would have saved us a lot of heartache. Right. Obviously, in retrospect, it was 100% a scam. Yeah. Right. But at, in that moment, one, you can never be sure in that moment until you validate it's false. But two, the voice was real. The voice sounded just like my daughter. Wow. Um, so they're both safe. They're, they're, they're good. Big hugs that night when they got home. But the, re, the, the real feeling of the situation, my wife's like hearing it over my phone, hearing what she thinks is her daughter crying in the background. It's yeah. horrific. It's terrifying. They're playing at your, your terrors. Um, yeah, there was something, something in my brain saying, hey, I actually think this could be a scam, but you don't know in that moment. And I would imagine a lot of people, maybe without just the knowledge I have of how scams work because of the space I've been in for a good part of my career, Maybe right. would have just okay. Give me a routing number. I'll start routing money. You know, but the the real question is about the safety of our kids, right? So I was very thankful we had Life Three Hundred and Sixty because all of a sudden I knew at least where they were at the last moment, right? Yeah. That's a starting point. Um, you know, had I been able to get my daughter on the line, I could have confirmed with her using our our code word, right? I would have asked her for it. She could have come. So these are all measures and steps you can take. But in that moment, in the hysteria, we couldn't get to that point. Of course, we never would have gotten to that point because they wouldn't have known what the code word was. But the point being, they hang up. I'm trying to figure out, do I call the guy back? Do I not call the guy back? What do I do? How do I figure this out? Fortunately, they were fine. But you know that that's what happened to us. In After that, I obviously started learning more about how AI is being able to mimic voices and and play this terror against parents and there's some other stories of this happening um but certainly for us in the moment our worst nightmare wow well i certainly appreciate you sharing the story with us because um this story is going to help others you know not ship off their life savings for a scammer who's trying to convince them that you know they have their kids or whatever and uh you know which could certainly put a, a kink in their their life plans and and their stability of life etc whether or not their kids are in danger or not i mean we definitely don't want to have our kids in danger but at the same time if somebody's trying to call up and scam you out of your money you know that could be their college fund that they're they're taking away from your kid and affecting affecting their life so i mean i really appreciate you sharing your story and taking this time and and opening up in this way because i know it's a very private private uh, situation for you and and you want to be protective of your family and whatnot um but i do think getting this story out we're going to be able to do some good with this so i really appreciate you getting on the line with me and sharing it absolutely you know um we don't know how they got a little snippet of my daughter's voice right she's not a big social media person she's not out there doing that maybe they just called and she it wasn't a number she recognized she said hello hello who's there, something like that. That's all it really takes these days in order to do it. Um, clearly, they did some research to find out who I was based on the voice and the relationship of the daughter that's out there on social media. Uh, they figured out what phone number to call. Um, we didn't, you know, yeah, sure. If my kids had happened to have been home when we got the scam uh, call, we would have known it was fake. I don't think they were tracking my kids. I think they were just testing the, the waters just you know you, you throw this line out a hundred times you're going to get somebody who doesn't have the kids at home during that time of the day uh when teenagers so i think they were playing the odds there um but it's yeah. terrifying but thanks sean for letting me share no i really appreciate you doing so and and i'm going to try to get this out to as many people as possible so that we can get this information wide so that more people can um you know protect themselves from this kind of scamming uh, because it's 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 horrible from a, trying to steal money from your perspective, but it's also horrible for what it put you through for you know a good half hour until you figured out your kids were were okay. I mean, it's it's, it's unspeakable. It is. It is awesome. Yeah. Thank you for the time. Thanks, brother. So there you go. Go set up passwords with your family right now. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.